Hi, Dr. Clark here on the Place for Answers, and I want to ask you a question if you're suffering with low thyroid. Why did your thyroid gland stop working anyway? You know, it seems to me that, that uh, a common uh, conception about thyroid disorders is that at some point, hey, you know, your thyroid just quit working, and so now you need thyroid medication. But that's really not a good answer, is it? I mean, are we just programmed to have our thyroid glands just stop working at some point? Or should we just accept that? Because the reason you shouldn't accept that is if you're still, you know, taking thyroid medication and your labs are normal, but you still have low thyroid symptoms, then no one's really uncovered why your thyroid gland stopped working in the first place. One of my kind of my mantras that I uh, teach the doctors that I train is always ask why. And I always try to teach my, my patients the same thing. Ask yourself why. If you started becoming low thyroid, why did it happen? The number one cause of low thyroid in America is something called Hashimoto's disease. That's an autoimmune process. Now, that is a really common thing that happens with people that you know no one tests for. But there are about 22 other reasons why your thyroid gland uh, might not work as well as it's supposed to. You know, to be honest with you, that's really kind of a misnomer because the gland, we're kind of blaming the gland. The gland is not really the problem in a lot of cases. The gland just does what the pituitary tells it to do. And then the gland can, you know, make the T4 and the T3, and then it's up to other parts of the body to do their job. So there are different players in this low thyroid story, right? The liver's got to convert T4 to T3. You know, your, your GI uh, bacteria, the good guys that live in there, they've got to convert uh, some of this T3 sulfate into T3. There's a lot of things we can talk about. You can look at my other posts. So it's not just the thyroid gland. But probably I would say 90% of the endocrinologists you'll ever see or family practitioners that mean well, they're just going to say, hey, you know, your thyroid gland quit working. Time to take some medication. And I'm, just, I'm sure, you know, if you felt great after taking the medication, you probably would never give it a second thought. But the problem is, is if you're watching this right now, you probably don't feel good. You probably still have some of the symptoms you had before such as weight gain, uh, excessive fatigue, hair falling out, low libido, constipation, you know, brain fog. If you're still having those things, then no one really ever asked the question, why did your thyroid gland stop working? And there's a lot of different causes, as we just said. Hashimoto's, an autoimmune condition, is by far uh, the most common here in America. But you can also have problems with uh, binding proteins, conversion, underconversion. The whole point is you need to find someone that understands what those things are and knows how to assess for them. And I got I got just to let you know, if your doctor is only checking a TSH and a T4, you're never gonna find those things I just talked about. Never. It's never gonna find Hashimoto's, it's never gonna find a serotonin problem, a dopamine problem, a conversion problem, an underconversion problem. It's never gonna find any of those things. And so you're, you are left to kind of suffer the consequences, right? You have to wander for years thinking there's something wrong with you, right? This thyroid medication is supposed to work, but I still feel bad. It's not your fault. So if you are taking thyroid medication or you have low thyroid, um, somebody needs to answer that question, right? What happened? Why did your thyroid stop working? And really only then when that question is answered are you ever going to get long-term relief and be able to feel good again.